Do you ever think about all of the produce in the grocery store that never finds a home? Well, it's really sad. Uh, sorry, uh, let me explain. I used to work in the produce section of a grocery store, and we were instructed to walk around and extract all of this sad, imperfect, ugly produce. Just get it out of sight. But it's okay because we made a big meal out of all that ugly food. Just kidding. It all gets thrown out just for being unpleasant to look at. Which brings us to here, right now, this second. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna rescue one fruit or vegetable. Just give it the treatment it deserves. I'm gonna give ugly food a makeover. So as I head to the store, I truthfully have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna find. Now this could be an awful looking asparagus, it could be a hideous apple, but what I do know is at the end of this, something that was previously unwanted will be transformed into something beautiful and delicious. Three, two, one, oh, it <laughs> is uglier than I remember. You deserve a closer look. So what we have here is uh, a pear, and as you can see, it's pretty, pretty hurt. Bulbous isn't a word I use very often, but I think it's fair in this case. Truthfully, this video isn't about shaming something that's different looking. If anything, I think it's more about unlocking the potential that lives within this pair. Hmm. Before I jump onto the computer to figure out what I'm gonna do with this pair, I wanna get some more pairs of eyes on this pair, just to confirm that this pair is uh, a mess. Do you just want to see this thing? Yeah. What? Is that a pear? This is the pear no one would have bought today at the store. Right? Exactly. You, it. you could make this so cute if you turn this into the um, thing that smokes in um, Alice in Wonderland. Do you know what I'm talking about? The What's... caterpillar? Yeah, doesn't it look like a caterpillar? <laughs> this is exactly what the... Are you still talking yes, about? Yes, I'm just in awe. Am I thinking about the right animal? Okay, so the next time you see this pear, it's gonna be beautiful and delicious. Are you taking my idea? Turning it into a caterpillar? Yeah. No. So there does seem to be a consensus that the pear is less than ideal looking, so it's time for research. I know what I'm gonna do. To give this pear a makeover, I'm gonna poach it. Everybody still good over here? Okay. We're gonna mix a lot of these nice ingredients together in a pot, bring it to a little simmer action. Here I was all ready to just leap into this uh, recipe. Didn't wash the pear. Some simple syrup here, wine. Can everyone see how those cinnamon sticks are put in here? They are placed in there so, wow, okay. It says to break the cinnamon stick in half. I'm going to the gym recently, as you can tell. Well, easy, very easy. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm very tall. I'm very tall. Now I can stand up straight. I think three quarters of this video is gonna be me opening things. What? This is a vanilla extract. That's too much. We're gonna peel the ginger here. So we'll add some honey now. There's a lot of sweet stuff going in here. I hope there's enough. I've never used this word before, but aromatic. I like to let that word fly every now and then. Now all we need to do is bring this poached sauce mixture to a simmer. Got all sorts of little little bubblies. It's not quite boiling, it's just getting nice and warm. All right. This almost looks like potpourri soup, which also is my Wi-Fi password. Ultimately, we're looking for it to get tender so that we can plate it and make it delicious. All right, everybody, I don't know why I'm pointing the knife at you. It's been about 20 minutes. Hair looks nice and relaxed. So as this pear is relaxing, I'm thinking about how to present it because it really needs a good send-off 
into my stomach. It's come down to room temperature, so I'm gonna make some little last minute adjustments to it. We're gonna dress it up with some toppings, and we're gonna pair it with vanilla ice cream. Okay, now I don't wanna jump to any conclusions, but I think we're done. And I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you in three, two, one. Before I show anyone, I think I should just try it in case I whip it off and someone's like, hey, can I try it? And then it's bad, uh, then I'll be devastated. Yeah, it's great. Definitely very good. Um, I'm gonna see what some other people think. So have you tried this new beautiful pair? I have tried it, and I'm pleased with myself. I think I did a good oh, job. Right. And here's what it looks like now. Whoa, wait, this is beautiful. You know what it is? It's like very aromatic. That's exactly what I said. Really? Whoa. <laughs> this is a glow up. very emotional because I just saw this, right? I just saw this pair. It was ugly. No one wanted to buy it except for you. It except had, for me. It sucked. It was a <laughs> pair. I hated that pair an hour ago. I was like, you're f I can't believe how good it tastes and how beautiful it looks. And I, I, I'm not even exaggerating. I don't know why I'm so impressed with this. And that's what I'm talking about. The next time you're in the grocery store and you see a piece of produce that is just a little rough around the edges, take it home. Give it a second chance because you have no idea what sort of potential is in that fruit or vegetable.